So now you're going to be on the white keys, okay? And in the, in the black key pieces, you were just playing the finger numbers. And now you're moving away from the finger numbers. You, you're going to be playing what it actually says. Focus not so much on the names of the notes, but on the direction and distance of the notes. So like I see that these notes are going up, right? And it's just going C, D, E, F, G. I'm just going up in the alphabet because A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G. Then I'm going to repeat that note because it's on the same, kind of the same level. Repeat it again, and then I'm coming down. This is a piece for my right hand. It's in 4-4 time. That means you're just gonna, I'm going to count a four count to each bar. So it's in 4-4 time. Start with my thumb on my right hand, and it's loud. When I get to here, I have another reference finger. It doesn't mean my hand is moving. It's just it's a reference finger, and I'm walking it down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to switch to the other camera where you can see me play it. Okay. So I found C. It's for my right hand. I put one finger on every key, and remember it went C, D, E, F, G, 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 F, E, D, C. So it went C, it goes up five notes, and then it comes down. So I'm going to play it here, and you can watch how flexible my wrist is. I'm going to count myself in. One, two, ready, go. C. So to get to example three, you'll see there's only two samples. You have to go to where it says score, reading B, score. A score is the word that musicians use to refer to sheet music. We say that's the score. All right, so in number three, the first thing I need to notice is that it's for my left hand. I know that because the stems go down. If you play this with your right hand, it will be marked wrong. So it has to be played with your left hand. It starts with a C. So that means your pinky of your left hand, five is your pinky, is going to be on C. So you've got to know where C is. And if you forget where C is, there's a little picture right there. It just, it's just a reference picture. It tells you C is right there, right below the two black keys. See that thing? So my pinky, right, my pinky is on C, okay, and um, it said C to E, so notice this is C, A, B, C, D, E, there's a note in between there that I'm not going to play. It said C, E, G, so that's a third and then a third, so it works like this. That's how this example starts. I'm going to go back to the score. Here it is, C, E, G. So I skipped something in there. Now I'm going to walk down, G, F, E, D. Goes back up to E. So the three is just a little guide, put, guide reference. And G all the way back down to C. So you've got to remember where C is. C is at the bottom. So now I'm going to play this for you. And it's marked soft, so I'm not going to play it too loud. I'm going to count myself in. One, two, ready, go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All I'm doing is I'm keeping my eye on whether it's going up or down or how far down. Like C to G, that's pretty far. That's from the top of my hand to the bottom of my hand. So I'm just following the directions, and I have to look the piece over. Before. Don't play it until you've really studied it. Okay? Any questions about that one?
Um, whenever we play with our left hand, does it matter if we go back to middle C or not? Good question. Not now, it doesn't. It doesn't matter now. Later on, when you get to st st on the staff, and it's a C, it's a, sp it's a particular C. It's not any C. So, but right now, this is just trying to orient you to the keyboard. But a lot of you are, are complete beginners. So uh, the, the point of doing music, we call this off-staff notation. Uh, we also refer to the notes with the alphabet names in them. We call those alpha notes. The point of doing that is to orient beginners to how the staff works. Direction, distance, you know, up and down, which hand do I use, all that stuff. So things will change real fast. <laughs> but right now, no, it doesn't matter. It's any C. Later on, you know, I'll tell you. Right, so you probably remember from watching those videos about these slurred lines. Do you remember the name for those slurred lines uh, versus notes that have dots on them? They were referred to as articulations, and the slur line has a name. Does anybody remember that name? You took a quiz on it. Is it legato? <laughs> it is legato, and, uh, and it means connected. So you'll notice when I played those notes, um, when I played those notes, all the, it was very smooth. <laughs> That's a, I have a really good legato. Now, I'm going to do a not-so-good legato. Can you hear that? That those notes, they're not touching. The sounds aren't touching. So it's only legato if I can't hear any space between them. Okay? If I hear space between them, it's not legato. Okay? So now I'll go back to the score. What is it called when I don't have a legato slur, but I have a whole bunch of little black dots? Anybody recall that? Staccato. Staccato, yes, staccato. Staccato, the notes, in staccato, the notes are short. They're not connected. So I'm going to play um, the first two measures of, well, actually, I'm going to go to, number six, because that's the one you're assigned. So on number six, it's for my right hand. I know that because the stems go up. And I start on F. I don't start on C. So don't think that every song in the whole world of piano playing starts on C because it does not. All right, here's F. Here's C. Okay, C is a good reference point. A lot of people know where C is. So A, B, C, D, E, F. This is F. It says to put your thumb there. It was the right hand. It was the right hand, right? Yeah, okay. And the, it went F, F, G, rest. A, A, B, rest. So staccato is going to look like, like this. Rest. Rest. Now you notice I'm not lifting way off the key. I'm just enough to let it go, and then I put my hand back on the key. Don't stay in the air. So, by the way, staccato and legato, those are hard touches. They're difficult touches. They require skill, and they require practice. All right, one, two, ready, go. Rest. Rest. Okay, now I'm going to go back and do the whole piece. This piece has part of the notes staccato and part of the piece is legato. So I've got to change my articulation. So the word touch and articulation are kind of are the same word. We say, what touch is it? The answer could be staccato or legato. What articulation is it? The answer could be staccato or legato. So I'm going to use staccato touch for the first two measures and a legato touch, and you should be able to hear that real clearly. One, two, ready, go. Rest. 
rest. Okay. When I get to the rest, you heard me say rest. You could also say four because that's the count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just like saying rest. Because when I say rest, it reminds me not to play. Okay? This is my own little personal habit. One, two, three, rest. All right, so I got two bars, two measures, staccato. Bars and measures are the same word, mean the same thing. It's not the same word. And these lines are called bar lines. One, it's on F, right? Be sure you are always on an F. One, two, ready, go. Three, four. Those are the, the three reading drills you're assigned, and I'm going to go back and look at those again, just real quick. So um, it was one, three, and six, I think. So the first one is for the right hand, and it's all legato, and it starts on C. The second one is for the left hand, and it's also all legato, and it starts on C. The third one is for the right hand and it starts on F and it uses both articulations staccato and legato and it also uses rests. So um, as I said a minute ago you're learning some really sophisticated concepts so if you find that some of these are a little hard you know physically hard or intellectually hard I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you piano playing is not easy you know, it's a really, it's a really uh, advanced kind of a thing. So it's, it requires a lot of care and time and patience. So we try to make it easy and fun. Um, and tell me if anybody has any questions about the reading.